<gasps> there is something very large north of me. Oh! <gasps> Holy f They're pooping! They're all pooping! That's hilarious. What can I do with their poop? Hello, friends, and welcome back to Subnautica. It's been so long. I'm finally back to recording videos. That was loud. Hopefully that was just a fish. Um, yeah, believe it or not, it has been a whole month, actually 28 days, I believe. What is smacking into my Cyclops? 28 days since I recorded Subnautica. I have been away. If you didn't know, I've been away getting married and stuff. So I haven't been playing very many games. Uh, you'll have to bear with me this episode. I'm going to start back up a little bit slow. But I do have some things I want to do and some updates to tell you guys that I did off camera. Nothing huge. I removed the power cell rechargers that were in here. Um... I've known for quite some time that it hasn't been working, uh, but I finally removed them, and I know you guys have been very upset about that, so have no fear, I did do that. I also, I can't remember if I told you guys about the upgrades that I put in here or not, but we've got the sonar upgrade. Obviously, we've had this one since the beginning, the fire suppression system, death module two, and the shield generator, which will help us, I guess, if we get attacked. I don't know, I haven't tried that yet. Um, I, I would like to, wasn't there another one I wanted to get? Oh yeah, the thermal reactor module, which I will make as soon as we get some kyanite. And I may have an idea of where to look for that, uh, because while I was away, I remembered something that I've been trying to remind myself constantly that I wanted to go and do. And, uh, I'll talk about that in just a second. I also installed the grappling arm onto the prawn suit but i really do not remember if i tested it out yet or not so let's let's do that thank you thank you so we've got oh yeah i definitely haven't tested that, that out yet um hi don't don't even dude i will drill you so we, we've got the drill arm oh feel bad killing this guy. He's been kind of like chilling around my base for so long. Anyways, um, what kind of thing? Okay. All right. Uh, so I have to combine it with the jump jets or just kind of pull myself up. Hmm. Might just do play around with it for a little bit. It doesn't seem exactly like, uh, seem to work like I thought it would. Ah, we jump first. Okay. As long as we jump first, then we become Spider-Man. Okay. spider prawn spider prawn Um, that would be a good name, actually. But people have been suggesting names, and I apologize that I haven't read through them all yet, so I will wait t uh, probably one more episode before I name the prawn suit. Just because I don't want to, uh, disappoint you guys. Oh, right. There is something else very important we have to do that I am just remembering. So, uh, yeah, I do also want to get the jump jets when we can. But, uh, right now... Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Loving it. Loving it. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. So... Where, uh, did I put, wait, hold on, hold, how does this exactly work? Okay, 97, power cell 97. Okay, did I put the other, uh -huh. if I unequip the grappling arm, I just get the regular, no? Get the regular punchy arm? I hope so. I sure hope so. Because, um, or do I, yeah. Can I pick stuff up with, I just want to make sure that I don't need to install something else. Can I pick up this salt? Yeah. 
yeah i can okay would you please leave me alone sir there we go okay yeah so that's exactly what i want to do maybe i should just kill him finally <laughs> all right so anywho there we go i should move this closer I'm excited to play this again, though. I really am. And I, I think I'm ready to make a bit more progress. Hopefully going to face some of my fears. Mostly the, the fears I have now are the big creatures. The jerkwad leviathans that prowl around. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you guys that I also installed the um, Seamoth? This thing, the perimeter defense system. Can't remember. But in case I forgot to tell you, that's there as well. <clears throat> yeah, so the other thing we have to do before we do anything else is drink some water. We have a friend that we need to visit. I don't know if you remember, but I found the most adorable egg. And it has been quite some time since I checked on it. Uh, people have given me a hint in the comments about what to do with it, so... Um, Let's go see if it has grown up. <gasps> oh. There he is. Oh, hello there. Oh, he looked right at me. He's swimming with all the Reginalds. Okay, so I'm, I'm not scared of him because he's freaking adorable. Of course, that would be a really, really smart, you know, thing if they were just extremely hostile and like maybe maybe incredibly poisonous and just like lure their victims to them with their ultimate cuteness that would be amazing okay so we've got cuttlefish a curious species hatched from an egg in alien containment uh actually hold on let me put him back for a second because i forget i think i made a might have forgot to scan him cuttlefish the oh god it's so cute Okay, I want to read about it. A small gray-colored herbivore. The cuttlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, this, spe this species has not encountered, has not been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen has to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. Life cycle. In the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It is possible that Environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to the edge of extinction and leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. It is also possible that cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world. We do not know that the cuttlefish is a we do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behavior in its inner species interactions, as was observed in Earth dolphins before their extinction. Oh. The creature seems to understand the concept of others' minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirps. Evidence suggests that Cuttlefish is capable of understanding the following simple commands in addition to accessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component to psychological health. So it really is a pet. It's a pet. That is amazing. So I'm told from you guys that I am, so, once I release him in the wild, I need to follow him. So I was thinking we would try to do that first uh, and see how that goes. Second thing I would like to do, which might be next episode, depending on where the hell this leads me, is I need to find some kyanites. And I remembered that there was a, um, I think I was in the red grass area and there was a whole, this was way at the beginning of the series, by the way, I, I encountered my first like lava snake down there. There was like, there was a, I feel like it was a different area. Um, I could be remembering this completely wrong though, but I remember it was like a lava -y area. And I think there was like a snaky thing down there. And then I just like pieced out because I didn't know what the heck it was. But if I remember correctly, it was somewhere in the red grass area or nearby. And it was just a hole going straight down. So I was just going to try and find that again and see if I could. Um, but first, let's save. Well, we've got him in our 
in our inventory. Yeah, in our inventory. And, uh... Do I have food? Let me just eat really quick. I don't know where he's going to take me, what where he's going to lead me, or what is going to happen if we're both going to die horribly. Um, you know, it probably will happen, but let's, um, <laughs> let's, let's learn together, shall we? Okay. Maybe I'll release him up here in the shallows. See where, see where he goes. Okay. All right, little buddy. You're free. Play with him. Command him to follow? <gasps> Can I play with you? <gasps> oh my God. Command to stop follow. But I'm following him. Oh my God, why is he so cute? Oh, can I? Can we play again? You want a treat, buddy? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love how they just put one adorable thing in this game um, amidst all of the horribleness that exists everywhere. I mean, this is a beautiful game, but you know, it is pretty awful in general. <laughs> All of the creatures besides the small, tiny fish are very deadly. Where are you going? Um, I don't think he's going anywhere. Is he following me or am I following him? Okay, I made him stop, right? So he's not following me anymore? Command to follow. Um, is he just gonna like hang out here? <laughs> okay, so maybe what you guys actually meant is that he will follow me wherever I go. Let's just leave him here in like the garden area. Unless, uh, let me, I'm just gonna hang out and make sure he doesn't go anywhere. It's important because I don't wanna miss out on anything, but just don't, don't get eaten, okay? You better not. Better not get eaten. Here, have a cookie and then don't go anywhere. Don't you go anywhere. Okay. I'm going to trust him to stay here. Worst case scenario, he gets eaten, and I do know where there's another cuttlefish egg in the game. <laughs> okay, so... Where is he? I already lost him. I already lost him. There he is. Okay. Okay. I think he's fine. I think he's just going to stay here. I'm not taking it with me. I know you guys want me to. But uh, I am terrified that he will die. He is, he does, there's a reason they're extinct, okay? Or uh, almost extinct. It's because, because people like you. It's because of people like you. That's why. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't have you as a pet anymore. Okay, I need to go. <laughs> Actually, I need to get in my sea mouth anyways. I'm taking my Seamoth with, and uh, not my prawn suit. So let's um, get into this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Where did that douchebag go, though? I do want to finish him off. I don't want him to kill my friend, my cute and adorable friend. Are you still here, friend? Uh, Puddles, are you still here? I heard a bloop bloop noise. I don't have a very good field of view in my Seamoth. Hello? Uh-oh, is he gone? Look for his little shadow. Oh, I heard him. Oh, there he is. Okay, yep, he's still here. Good, good, fabulous. Okay, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, right? You can play with all the fishies. 
All right. Um, I don't think I'll take my Cyclops. I just want to... I just want to have a cruise around. But right now, I'm just going to kind of zoom around and look for the thing that, that uh, I remembered finding before. I feel like there's two different red grass areas, and one of them had a giant hole... It wasn't this giant hole. That's the giant hole that leads to the wreck and then to the to the spooky green area, which apparently is called the Lost River. Uh, and I do need to go back into that. Is it this? Uh, no. Gosh, noikis. No, I've been in here like three times, though. Yes, I have. Okay. I'm also thinking that I may bring up a map of the world at some point. Just like a non-spoilery map of the biomes. Possibly. Hmm. Oh, I actually hear an I actually hear a Leviathan right now. Not not you. I know you're a Leviathan, but I mean a reapy. Um, okay, so I know... Do I still have the mushroom forest marked on my map? Because that's where I got eaten. That's where my cyclops got eaten. Bitten, should I say. Why, why can I never see the markers that I put on my map? Why am I so freaking blind? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to continue on my mission to find this supposed lava area that I saw previously. It's not that, but it was, it was a giant hole. This is definitely a cave of some kind that I probably haven't gone all the way into, or maybe I have. Pardon me, what is this? Is that a creature egg? It looks like a blueberry. It is, don't recognize it, so I'll take it. There's another one. Hmm. Can I scan it first? No, I only need one. Who knows, maybe there's more than one adorable creatures in the game. By the way, I don't have the reinforcement uh, module anymore. I have I put that on the prawn suit, which may have been a bad choice. But people told me that the reinforcement module doesn't actually work for uh, creatures biting you, it only works for running into things. And so it was definitely helping me before, but... Uh, I feel like the sea moth is more likely to be bitten by large creatures. So I put it on there. Um. Hmm. Bonefish. This I have already got. No. Oh, it's just a scanner room. I thought it was like a a, a thing. But with info. Okay, I'm no longer in the red grass. Also, people have been telling me that um, the only creatures that care about my lights on my vehicles are the crab squids. Um, even on the cyclops? Which is bonkers. Oof. Hate it. Uh, so... That's good to know. I hate where I hate where I am. <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna be brave. I really feel like is it day yet? This is where Reapy Roy is, isn't it? Roy, are you over there? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is his desert lair. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's not where I wanted to be anyways. Uh, 
It would be nice if I could... I don't know, man. It's just so scary. <laughs> I'm like, I want to be brave and just tangle with Roy. But at the same time, I just really don't ever want to. You know what I mean? I believe that I am remembering wrong. Everyone. Oh, yes. Yes, hello, Roy. I hear you. I know you're over there. That is why I am avoiding you. Is he closer than I thought? Is he actually like here somewhere? <coughs> because I don't. I don't really think that I want him to be here somewhere. Yeah, Life Pot 2 is right down there. That's a creature egg. Have I seen this one? It's probably a stupid... It's either Jelly Rare or Bone Shark. I don't know if I've scanned either of those. I'm so worried about this area now that people have told me there's a Leviathan. I really just shouldn't... I just shouldn't read chat sometimes. I mean, I should just shouldn't sometimes. Because, you know... Uh... It's just, it freaks me out more than maybe it sh should. Also, um, are you currently attacking me? Cause, ah! I wish that you didn't do that. Oh, jeepers. Okay. Maybe I have outstayed my welcome right there slightly. Let's look over here. I love the lovely Morrowind biome. It is so beautiful. I was possibly gonna make a, a secondary base right here. And I may still do that. Although I haven't really seen any resources. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I've found this yet. A big hunk of ship in the kelp forest. Big honk or ship. Do, 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 do. I have not. Sweet. Integrate okay. new PDA data. Mobile vehicle bay, mobile vehicle bay, laser cutter door. Well, if this has something in it, then at least I did two things in this episode. Given they are very minor things, but at least this led absolutely nowhere. Okay. Really? There's nothing in here except a data pad. You have got to be kidding me right now. You've got to be kidding me right now. Just mobile vehicle bay. Mobile vehicle bay fragments. And that is apparently it. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to head back to base. And I do have some, uh, I have some radio transmission thingies. Not a radio transmission, but I have some, uh, thingies to actually go over. Some data pads that I have found that I must listen to. One of them is from last time, actually. All right, we're back from our expedition. I did learn a bit about how things are laid out in the world space. So that is definitely helpful. Um, however, I cannot do the things that I wanted to do. Um, uh, oh, they haven't hashed yet. They're just, uh, 
I just know what they are now. Okay. Can I scan them? No. All right. Oh, there's the jelly ray. Ah, okay. The one that I got in uh, from the other player was the jelly ray egg. Okay, so then that one is something else. This is a bone shark. I can't remember. None of them were too crazy, though. I already scanned a jelly ray, so I don't need to do that. All right. How long have I been recording? A long time. This episode is going to be weird. I will warn you guys because... I mean, it's like at, almost at the end now, but I literally, I have done almost nothing. <laughs> and uh, I've just been exploring the world a little bit, trying to get my bearings. So I think, I think what I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to save. Um... Okay, first first of all, let's do this, right? Let's let's do this and this. Found this one last time, I think. The way I see it, no one's to blame here. He gave me the wrong coordinates. She didn't give me clear instruction. Okay, I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now, we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So if the Degasi's out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? They're the competition. Enjoy your shore leave on Sanjay Station. Like having fuel in the tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show them we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. Surface scan? One thing I didn't think about is that, like, probably a lot of these wrecks that we're finding are scattered around the ocean. Probably a lot of them are the Degassi wrecks, right? Um, they look the same as the Aurora. I mean, you can't really tell the difference, but, um, at least I can't, but that probably is true. Okay, crew, Bart Torgel, Auxiliary Search and Rescue Mission, Bart Torgel, Vice President of Torgel Corp. Lost in space near planet 4546B. Age at time of disappearance, 19. The only legitimate child of Paul Torgel, beneficiary to enhanced learning techni techniques and cerebral implants, digi-trained in advanced biochemistry and stellar economics. Emissary Kassar reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five-year term as chief operating officer. Rip Aronies. Rippity, rippity, Ronery. Uh, so. What we should now do is something that I really don't want to do. Prawn safety. Don't climb on or get off while it's moving. Um. I think the next thing we have to do, unfortunately, is go to the Lost River. I I could like make a second base and whatnot also. But the thing I really, really need is nickel and kyanite. And I looked up where you're supposed to get kyanite because I had no freaking clue what I was supposed to be doing. And the only way to get it is to go very, very deep into the lava areas, apparently, which are only accessible through the Lost River, which has a Leviathan in it. And, uh, however, you guys did tell me that there is definitely more than one entrance to the Lost River. So, um, another thing about the Lost River or the spooky green zone with fossils in it is that there's poisonous gas, uh, which you can traverse in the prawn suit. So, oh yeah, there's my other habitat builder. So I was 
thinking maybe I should take my prawn suit down there. But, you know, like, it's just hard because... It's really hard because I don't I don't know exactly what in the hell what if I get stuck down there? That's what I'm really scared of, getting stuck in the prawn suit while I'm down there. Um okay, hull reinforcement, storage module, engine efficiency. I could look and see if there's one other thing I want to install. Take all this crap out of there. Why do I have two thermal blades? I have no idea. Did I find one? Oh, there maybe there was one there. Yeah, there was one in that um kit that I found. Yeah, there totally was. Okay. Let's swap out a battery or two, maybe. 64. Yeah. It's always a good idea to have freshly charged batteries. in your repair tool and such. <sighs> I think I'll just make this a long episode and um, we will just, we'll just go try and do something. Cause you know, I haven't done anything and I just feel like at this point, I shouldn't let these episodes be so freaking boring and stuff. And I just need to face my fears a little bit more. I should I should practice using the stasis rifle also. Uh, maybe I'll do that really quick. The prawn suit. Uh, I need the jump jet. Crystalline sulfur nickel. So if I, if I go, if I make this my objective, that wouldn't be too shabby, right? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. I'm getting nervous because I can tell I'm getting nervous because my nose is starting to itch. That is how I can tell. Um, so let me, can I take, what happens if I take the, take the this, take the this sword? Oh, I knew it. Okay. I was going to try and like grab the storage module and put it in the other thing. Okay, let me test this. Is my friend around? Oh, also, let me just check and make sure Cuddle is he's Cuddles is still here. Cuddles, you good? Oh, he's so cute. Cuddles. Cuddles. Would you like a quack? Oh, hey boy, Cuddles. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. My nose is itching. I know what I'm doing next. I'm getting very nervous. It's fine. Fine. Okay. Prawn suit. Come here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Senor. Okay, we're taking the prawn. We now have the grapple. Which we did not have last time. Which gives us some maneuverability, you know what I mean? We've also got six power cells. Uh seven. Although maybe I should have one of those at least on me at all times in case I need it in the prawn suit. Um, it is not all the way healed. I'll have to do that later. <sighs> okay. I think we should just go and do this. And this is this might be like a super freaking long episode or it might be a not so long episode. But at least I won't have to deal with... Um, at least I won't have to deal with, like, switching the batteries out all the time. Because that was very annoying. Now I know what I'm doing a little bit more. You guys have also been telling me things like, uh, the, the Cyclops is quite hearty. It's quite a tank, you know. So, um, ooh, ooh, and we also have sonar. That is definitely going, oh, that just keeps pinging. Okay, I don't want that on constantly. That's going to take batteries. But I, I did bring a ton of batteries. But if we if we bump into stuff, apparently it's not really a big deal. I gotta think about where the heck I'm going. I kind of want to go back to that entrance that was over in this area. 
I believe there was an entrance. Um, I, did I follow this? And then I got to a thing that was like, it went into a cave. And I didn't want to go into the cave at that time, strictly because uh, I didn't have the grappling arm, my prawn suit. Oh, and also I know about the cameras. You guys have been telling me that I, I need to just basically fly this thing with the cameras and you're, you're right. You're absolutely correct. Okay, we might want to start going a little slower now. Um, this is the upper camera. Okay, there's just this one. This is the... This is the butt camera. The butt cam. The top cam. And yeah, I like this one, right? Yeah, I think I like this one. So I can see what's ahead pretty darn well. And now that I have the sonar, it's all fine. Because I can totally see what's coming. Also, um, the lights, let's go, let's go ahead slow now. I'm going to switch the lights on and the interior lights off. Because I would like to be able to see. And I just feel like it's easier for me to see outside when the outside lights, when the inside lights are off. Okay. So we descend now. We descend into the descending areas of descendedness. I don't know. I think I'm like in the, sort of in the generally correct area, but I could be wrong. Okay, yes. I am in the Lost River entrance area. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be exactly. No, that's a, isn't that a mushroom? But wait, what? No, those are the different. Oh, hi. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna cruise around a bit. I wonder if I can run into... Oh, hi. Crab. Evil crab. Okay, he he apparently is the only enemy that really doesn't like... Doesn't like, um... The lights. The, the like, octopus dudes. Okay, it's probably the octopus. It's probably the octopus, just it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nobody panic! It's fine! Is it fine? Is it you? No, you can't. They can't attack me either. You guys told me all this info, so I'm hoping it's correct. I'm hoping it's correct. Um, okay. <gasps> There is something very large north of me. Oh! <gasps> Holy f... <laughs> Get me out. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound the horn, by the way. That was freaking huge! Holy God! I need to just, okay, just, just everyone, just calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Come on. I don't think he knows where I am. Oh my God, is that the same thing that I saw inside the Lost River? Why is he here? I did not know he was here. I did not know that was here. And I do not feel good about any of this. I don't know where... 
Okay, if I go forward... Is this the butt cam? Okay, this is the butt. This is the top, and this is the front. I don't know where I, I don't know where I should be going. Um Can I go lower because I would like to get away from that. Well, now I think we can count that as something happening, right, everybody? Okay. Definitely, uh, am I going backwards? No. Yeah, I think that counts. I think that definitely counts. Hi. Oh, not you again. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get attacked again because that octopus is gonna be pissed off. It's fine though. Leave me alone, you jerk. Let's go away! This, it's surprisingly maneuverable, isn't it? Surprisingly so. Okay, there's, I can see the yellow blip. No, that's where I am. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. Did I mention this? I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just, uh, I'm like trying to find an entrance to something down here without dying horribly. And, uh, I'm, meanwhile, I am learning are we good? Did we get hurt? No, we're fine. Okay. I hear him still. He's gonna, he's still gonna be a jerk. What are we at? 82% battery. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Can I fit through here? Oh, there goes one power supply or power cell. You know, I was pretty close to that creepy-ass see-through leviathan. Uh, I would just like to point out that he makes absolutely no noise. So it is totally possible that that's what attacked me before. It is entirely possible. Entirely possible. Okay, so, um... Where should I go? That's the question. Where should I go? Oh, is he still there? Nope, that's you, isn't it? Yeah, that's you. I wish I could blow you up with a missile. Jerk. Maybe I could, like, run into him and kill him or something. <laughs> I don't really see anywhere for me to go. If I exit my prawn suit, I really just don't see anything that I could possibly want to actually get out and do, either. I just smashed into something. It's fine, apparently. Okay, I think I've gone in a complete circle at this point. So, we're still in silent running. And don't worry, we've got a lot of batteries. Still. 
and my phone is going off. <gasps> okay, what is it? What's what's the status? I think what I'm gonna do is yeah, it's him. I think what I'm gonna do is go towards <sighs> um maybe fossil cave system one. What was the life pod that had the cave by it? I don't really think that I am anywhere useful currently. Um, and I do believe there he is. Okay, so he's right by where the blue blooby bloobs are. So if we actually go up right now, we'll probably miss him, right? Probably fine. He won't see us. We're still in silent running. But I, I'm thinking that I should just get out of here. Dude, it's crazy how many times I've been here and I did not... I did not know that he was here. I did not have any fucking clue, dude. Okay, the crab is mad at me. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave. Is he, is he currently gonna kill me? Is there another thing that's gonna kill me? Something is currently pursuing me. Uh... Could you not? Okay, I think he's gone. Let's do the sonar one more time. Okay. Okay, I think we're. F oh! I see the striders! I saw the striders! Okay, turn off silent running. Oop. Turn off silent running. Okay. Cameras. I did want to check this out more. If I can catch them. Oh yeah, okay. So apparently these guys are pretty chill. Uh, and they actually, at least they seem pretty chill anyways. So I think I'm gonna get out here. And hope for the best. Um, could, be a, could be the last thing that I do, but. Turn this, turn, turn the engine off. So apparently they do some cool stuff. Like, hang on, am I gonna fall onto one? Because that would be bad. Oh yeah, I might actually. Okay, let's back it up a little bit. Let's just, let's just back it up slightly here, shall we? Okay, cameras. Okay, that's better. Okay, turn off. Engine powering down. Exit. Okay. Uh, they stir up the ground underneath them, which gives you stuff to loot. So, I reckon... that if these guys are here, then the general area is probably sort of safe, right? They don't seem to care about me. Can I scan you? Uh, I don't wanna get, maybe I'll go up above you. Sea treader. So apparently they're harmless unless you get stepped on by them, which makes sense. Sea Treader, and they are a Leviathan, which is pretty damn crazy. But it just goes to show you that not all Leviathans are super spoopy. How close do I need to be to not get squooshed? 
Just don't poop on me, all right, bro? Oh man, this is cool. Look at all the stuff that they're digging up. What's this? Alien feces? I'll take it. I, it was funny because I was just thinking like, you know, please, please don't poop on me. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure how close I can get. Give me your poop. Ooh. They're pooping. They're all pooping. That's hilarious. What can I do with their poop? I should scan it. That's what I should do with it. Look. Oh. You guys, uh, they're just chilling here, man. This is crazy. I gotta get back in my prawn suit. Mother nature at its finest, everybody. <laughs> I don't really... Okay. I don't know what I need that for, but... Probably nothing, I'll be honest. But I'm getting, I'm getting diamonds, getting goodies. Whoa! Mm -hmm. I, last time I found these guys, I was kind of sad that I didn't actually like follow them. But it, they're not walking. They're not like actually moving this time. They're just kind of hanging out. They're just chilling. That's a quartz. Nutrient rich manure suitable for bioenergy production. Oh, okay. Put in my generator. All right, guys. Well, um, it's been swell and stuff. What else is around here? It's weird how I, I do feel safer with these guys here. I'm not sure if that's a really bad uh, mentality for me to have. That way is the Leviathan dude, right? The stealthy Leviathan. But these guys are just kind of hanging out. And I think, oh Jesus, I almost fell off the ledge. I don't know what's down there. Probably nothing good. Maybe the edge of the map. Possibly, I don't know. Cause I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't pick things up anymore. Unless I unequip my grappling arm. Which is annoying. Hmm. Oh boy, I don't know. I think I should practice getting around. Pretty, pretty maneuverable. Was this the same area that I found the sea treaders last time? Because there was... There was some places to go explore around here. Maybe I should do that. You guys just gonna chill? Just gonna hang out? It's pretty great. Uh, maybe I'll just go and uh, put this stuff away that I picked up, including the poop. Welcome up to the seek fluid intake. Uh, All systems online. And I got a seek fluid intake. Got some lithium though, that's good. 
seem to be always running out of that, so... Got some poop. A journey well... Um, completed, I suppose. They're so cool. I'm not scared of them at all. They don't look scary, and they don't hurt me. Oh, fooey buckets. Well, that's kind of annoying. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Any more water in here? Yeah. Switch container. Um. I could put a beacon here. Maybe I should. Sea treader spot. Um. Actually, let me grab another beacon. I know I have another one in here. Okay. I will place one. Hello. Hello. Sea treaders. Place one here. Sea treaders. Um, path. Okay. Uh, what are you up to, man? Your friends are all, uh, they're kind of gone. You gonna, you gonna go catch up to them? <laughs> what are my power cells like in here? Good. Okay. I think I'll follow these guys for a bit could get back in the thingy ba ding but you know where did they actually go this way is this guy gonna go the same way he's lagging behind quite a bit it must be just this whole flat plateau that they like to go on okay yeah let's let's get back in the cyclops and um I can grapple up and do it. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> that knocked me quite off. Dang it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to follow them a little bit. I think they went this way. Engine powering up. There he goes. So they walk in a line for a while and then they squash the ground. And this guy's just kind of like, he's probably going to be the first to die out of the pack. Cause he's just, he's just taking so long to catch up to everyone, you know? Here's the rest of them. I'm worried about where we are because... The blue bulbs, to me those blue bulbs mean... Creepy dude. Now that I have figured that out... Nothing on the radar. Nothing. Nothing on the radar. Nope. Okay. All right. Where are we going, friends? Will they go right or will they go left? Or will they stop here? 
They're quite slow. Okay, they're gonna stop here. All right. Maybe they just go like back and forth along this area. They don't seem to give a crap that I'm stalking them at all. So that's interesting. And this is like pretty elevated. Um, compared to everything. What did I just hit? Did I just hit the wall? Don't hit the wall. It's probably bad. Okay, so this is south. South from my actual house. Yeah. South-ish. What else can we find around here? I suppose I could drop out. I don't see too many things to get. Ooh, hey, there's more of them. Oops. Hello. Still by the blue bulbous area though, which sort of freaks me out. Now that I know what lurks around. If I was really brave, I would have put like a beacon right underneath where the scary Leviathan guy was. However, I was definitely not brave enough to do such a thing. I do not see anything scary right now. Should I go down? Maybe? There's a quartz I could harvest. What am I hitting? Um. Apparently we're not going to get back to the Lost River this time. But we're definitely doing things. Okay. Actually. We may be. Don't know what that sound is. I think I should swap out my power cells here in a bit. Oh, hey, look, a wreck. Okay. Wait a second. Is this the same one? Probably not. Hmm. Let me go over there. This is probably not the same one. It's hard to tell them apart sometimes. And it's also going to be hard for me to traverse this. What is that over there? What is that? I don't have a very good view of it now that I'm not in camera mode. All right, any evil things around? Can I see this pings while I'm in here? Yes, I can. Okay, we're 
just going to do one more time. Wait, what? Okay, uh, turn that off. 50, we're still 52% battery? That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch out some batteries, though, because... I don't want to get into a jam. At this point, by the way, I have been recording a long time. Almost two hours, and I'm lucky if I'm going to get a pretty decent sized episode out of this because there's just, you know, it's just, uh, I haven't accomplished very much. I really have not, but that's fine. I have been kind of getting back into the game a bit and just kind of exploring. I encountered a new Leviathan guy without completely losing my shit, which I got to give myself some credit for. This place right here seems, I hate to say, I hate to see that it, say that it seems relatively safe, but it seems more or less uneventful currently. So actually I need to check where I'm gonna drop because um, I don't want to drop into a spoopy place. Here we go. So what I want to do is powering down. get out of here. This is the last thing that I'm going to do in this episode. It's going to be probably a long one. We're going to explore this wreck first, I think. And hope for the best. Uh, don't really know what to expect, but there's also a cave looking type thing. Sort of nearby. So, where's the best place to park it like it's hot on this thing? Well, let me, let me just swim around and find the entrance really quick. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Got a laser cutter door. Stupid bag that I don't want. Locked door. Locked, locked, locked. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put that on that one. I don't really know what else there is for me to collect. I'm hoping for like a data pad, but there is actually still one prawn thing. The torpedo arm I don't have yet. So if that's in here, that could be nice. Or maybe just something entirely missing that I don't even know exists. That would also be nice. Another door. Okay. Interesting. Kind of spoopy. No modules sitting in there. Watch the air. I'm going to play it safe. Gonna play it safe. Where is my prawn suit? 
I parked him right here. Okay. So exit and then to the left is where he is once I exit. Okay. So we go through two of these doors. Then I suppose we go into here. And then into here, and then into here, and then another laser cutter door! Supply crate with food, that's nice. More food, oh, that's very nice. Alright, well, this is behind three freaking laser doors, so it better be good. Like to just zoom in because I'm half expecting the game to just entirely screw me over and like have me get eaten by someone when I go through. Okay. I feel slightly cheated by this. Um is there really nothing here? I mean there were some nutrient blocks. Huh. Okay, well. It's fine, I guess. Okay, out and to the left. Oh, it's bright again. Thank you. Thank you for the brightness. The daylight, the gorgeous daylight. Okay, well, that was sort of uneventful. What else? What about uh, the rest of this junk? Anything down here? No? Hmm. Well, I must say that I was expecting more. But I guess not every exploration can be fruitful, right, friends? Okay, now we go back to where these cyclops is. My my little grappling arm doesn't actually grapple as far as I thought it would. Okay, I'm under the cyclops. So I wanted to go up here and check out this potential little cavern. If it in case it is anything. Whoops. It is not. It is just. Oh, wait a second. Nope. Nope, it's just more of the same. More of the same. Thingy, thingy, my dingies. Okay. I thought I was about to find an entrance. It is not the case. Therefore, we shall ascend. La, 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 la. I have to start over. There's no way I'm going to make that. Okay. Try again. If only I had the super jumps. There we go. A perfect fit. Yeah, I bet they are. All right, friends. 
Well, didn't get much done, but I learned things. I did learn a lot of things. I learned there's really scary leviathans that I did not even know were there. Um, so that's really fun. I learned that uh, crab squid guys can attack my cyclops. And I learned that I have to find the Lost River again. I learned that... Is that all I learned? I don't know. I learned a lot of stuff, okay? I did. I'm not ready to go home quite yet. Because I haven't really found anything with my prawn suit that I could make use of. So... Engine powering um, since I'm also not really sure where the hell I am... What I think we should do is just get somewhere where I do know where I am. We're headed due south east-ish right now. Um, and we're still around the area where Spooky Boy is, so... I wouldn't mind... I see Trader's Path is that way. I wouldn't mind just, like, leaving this area. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> but we're also not very deep either. You know? I was really just trying to find something I recognized that I could go towards. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay. Well, this looks different. I don't know um what this is. And that is a absolutely humongous drop, probably to nowhere, if I had to guess. Let's see. We can go to 1,300 meters. We're at 420 right now, 420 blaze it meters. There's a dude over there. Um... Warning. Entering ecological death zone. Adding report to databank. Okay. I got you. I got you, game. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to me, that means this is the end of the game world. Turn around. But let's, um, let's take a look at the databank and see if that's actually what it means. Oh, we can also read about this. Excuse me? Please stop moving me around. Thank you. Crater Edge. Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. This data is consistent with the theory that, 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 the aurora crashed on the edge of the two kilometer and two kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Ah. Well then, I will heed your warning. So if we did go that way, <laughs> uh, we would be tempting fates because the game will spawn a bunch of leviathans. And that is not good for me. And if we keep going over here, we will find Sea Trader's path again. But also maybe Mr. Spooky Town, USA. Uh. So I, I wouldn't actually mind 
Yay, my friends! My friends are here. Hello, friends. They make me feel safe. They do. Hello. Hello, you guys. I love how much fun you just have all the time. It's just the best. It is just the best thing. Keep being you. You are special. Okay. I think we did some good exploration. But not good enough. Where are we going? Okay. Let's go down this path. Okay, that sounded maybe bad. Nope, we're fine. Hi! I wish I could shoot you with a gun. <laughs> mm, are you going to leave? I don't mean. Okay. He's gone. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of 5,000, shall we? We're gonna just, it's gonna be a little bit uh, iffy. Okay. All right, it's fine. We're gonna go up a tiny bit. Um, I'm also just gonna hope that the spooky boy doesn't find me. I know he's like kind of around here somewhere. It, <gasps> Ugh, found him. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. He didn't see me though. Somehow. Somehow. Somehow he didn't see me. Okay. I really need a waypoint. I literally have no idea where the hell I'm going. Um. Just get me out of here. Just get me to. Like. Something. Get me to the shallows. Oh my god. He's going to attack me. No. Okay. Where do I need to go? I need to, I need to go. I need to turn around. I need to go north, east, which is literally right where he is. So let's go down. Um. <laughs> Holy freaking shit. Okay, you know what? Just go straight. Just go straight. I'm silent. I'm silent running. There's no way he knows where I am. I'm so freaking stealthy. I have no clue how he didn't see me, though. I am a gigantic... Orange submarine. Okay. They are so stealthy, dude. What the hell? Okay, then we just make a really large loop de loo. All right. Really large loop de loo. We also hope to God that there's only one. Um, because I know from my lessons with Reapy Roy. But there are plenty of evil things. I think we can turn off silent run running. Oh my god. I thought I was dying there for a second. Just because of how freaking dark it got there.
But yeah, pretty sure I've been here and I investigated this a bit. Yeah. There is a tunnel here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, yeah, I know. Why am I slowly floating up? Is, are the vents pushing me up? No way. It's crazy. Hello? I'm hit, just hitting things, right? Okay, yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine. Could be wrong about that. Vital signs stabilizing. I don't have any water left. Um, let's hope my bulbo tree is done. Okay, good. All right. I lied. We're doing one more thing. And that is... We're just gonna... We're not very deep, so... I just want to see if this leads to the Lost River. It, you know, is kind of looking a little green. If that is the case then I definitely, um, I definitely want to put a marker at least. gonna go all the way in though there is a lot of stuff what's that is that titanium did i drop that what wait a second what <laughs> i mean i know i've like been in this area before but that's bizarre. Hmm. Hello? Okay, yeah, this is... Don't get stuck in the ground, please. Why is there all this titanium sitting around? Yeah, pretty sure this is leading me back to... Exactly where I think it is leading me. The fossil cave system below. Yep. Okay. Well, I will mark it as another entrance. I don't know if it is actually considered an entrance, but... Is anybody out there? Is any... Hey, look! It's one of my marker things! Yeah, I've been here. I've totally been right. I've been absolutely right here. Is that one of those blueberry eggs? Oh, yeah, there's a life pod here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose this is the, the life pod where I missed stuff. People said there was a life pod where I, like, missed a data pad or something. Don't think it was this one, though. Ooh, sorry, fishy. <laughs> All right. 
I will go right here and drop the beacon. Um, alien fence. Oh, frick. Die, jerk. Alien vents. Entrance? Oh, thank you. Okay, apparently there's a lot of those jerks down here. Right. It's time. Once again, park it like it's hot. Ooh, there we go. Welcome on board, Captain. All systems online. Like, I want to bring my. I really want to bring my prawn suit to the Lost River, but I don't know, like, what entrance is the best. Huh? One. Engine powering down. Oh shit! I left the engines on like an idiot. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not really sure which entrance is the best one. So I might do a little bit of lookery looing um, before heading back. Where am I going? I need to be going. Some other direction. Go turn this way. I'm gonna go back and um, like charge my batteries and whatnot. The head standard. I might want to take my sea moth um, just over there without the cyclops, just to scout it out. Excuse me, did I just hit a reef back? Hope I don't accidentally kill one of those. Uh, but yeah, I might just do that to scout it out, just, just to get a better idea of like where I should actually bring my prawn suit. But for now, we'll park it. Park it at home. And charge all our power cells. And uh, get ready for our next expedition. Definitely next time finding the Lost River. And um, hopefully getting more nickel and possibly... Uh, possibly something. I don't know. Possibly something, something. I don't even... I have no idea. <laughs> I just know that I have to go there for to make progress. That's all I know. Okay. Okay. I will finish uh, charging my power cells. Start of the next episode. Hello, bone sharks. Ooh, those two still haven't hatched? Hmm. I had one more egg than I thought, I guess. Interesting. Oh, some of these Reginalds are getting poisoned. <gasps> oh no, it's his fault. He's poisoning them all. Oh no. Everyone's poison. Oh man. What a jerk. Oh well now I'm just gonna have to kill them all. I'm just gonna have to set them all on fire or something. Because they're all contaminated. <sighs> oh well. Let's go give Mr. Cuddles a hug. And then and then call it a day. High five! Woo Alright, thanks everybody for watching this extended episode of Subnautica where I did almost nothing but actually did stuff at the same time magically. I know it's crazy, but that's just how things go. I will see you all next time for another episode where I will attempt to actually go to the Lost River with my sea moth. Or do I'm going to go back to that vent and then go in there that way and see if that is a better um, entrance for me to locate it or something like that. 
just want uh, I just want a nice way for my my prawn to get in um, without me getting it stuck because that would be very sad. <sighs> Wish me luck. Until next time, stay cheesy. Bye bye.